welcome back everybody. Today is all about this holster that I've been wearing on my belt for over a month now. Every single day since this thing arrived, I have worn it. And quite frankly, I like this thing a lot. This is the Tale of Knives belt loop holster. I've had people make fun of me for wearing it. I've had people ask, where can they get one themselves? I've had a lot of people very interested in these. So it's a polarizing object, but I really enjoy it. And this video is all about what this is, what it features, all the different versions of it, and how you can get one yourself. So let's do the thing. Before we get started, I just want to say that I've been getting a lot of comments lately from you guys saying that you're not getting notifications when I upload new videos. So hit, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you are notified. If you're not getting notifications and you have hit that bell, uh, let me know because that's a bigger problem in and of itself. And I would love for you guys to get notified when those videos go live. With that said, at long last, this video is all about the Tale of Knives belt loop holster, belt loop pouch, belt loop organizer, whatever you want to call this thing, it's unique because most of the pocket organizers you have are going to be in the form of this proper slip from Hitch and Timber or this Yellow Birch Outfitters uh, pocket organizer. These are the ones I've shown off on the channel before, as well as the Hitch and Timber does all. I've shown all these off. I also have a pop of leather pocket armor, very, very similar to the proper sleeve. The thing about these organizers, while they organize your stuff and keep all this stuff in one place in your pocket, the problem is that it's still in your pocket. So if you don't like things cluttering up your pockets, these aren't necessarily going to help in that regard. They're going to keep stuff organized, which I really like having a proper slip for my Swiss Army knife and my pen. It keeps everything in one place and it keeps it from laying sideways in my pocket. It'll actually keep it upright really well, but it still weighs down my pockets. I still have other things in my pockets and I don't necessarily want this in my pocket with those. And if you carry something like this, while it does do the job really well, it puts all of this stuff in one place in your pockets, which can weigh that one pocket down. So everything else, all your other pockets are free, but that one pocket has everything in it. And while that can be helpful, it also is a bit of a detriment to <laughs> the weight distribution of your stuff. So these things are certainly helpful. They have their place, but we're talking about a different beast here. We're talking about something that removes all of this stuff from your pockets and straps it to your waist, which is something we haven't really seen from many other makers before. Uh, there are a few other organizers very similar to this out there, but nothing quite like this one. Talking specifically of Tell of Knives, this one in particular is just one of the several options. This is the XL version, which is meant to hold a knife around the size of the Paramilitary 2, and that's what I've been carrying in it. My custom PM2 has been in this thing every single day. And the flashlight, this side is for a flashlight. I've been carrying the Olight S2R2 baton in mine. So that just slips right down in there very easily. You can go clip in or clip out. It does not matter. You can go clip in or clip out with the, the knife or the flashlight. And that is what it's strapping to your waist. You're getting a knife and a flashlight, a big knife and a sizable flashlight in your EDC and not taking up precious pocket space. And a lot of people have said, hey, this is just kind of impractical. Why do you want that stuff strapped to your belt? That makes it less accessible or this doesn't really solve any problems. Um, one, it doesn't have to be solving a problem to be a good product. And two, it's not necessarily less accessible. I can reach this just as fast as I could, something in my pocket. The one thing you won't get from this that you would get from, say, a pocket knife is one of those pocket knives that has one of the quick deployment methods on the, the blade here where it catches the edge of your pocket. There's nothing that's gonna catch here. So you can't whip this out and have a knife deployed, but I can still take this out of my pocket quickly and Spidey flick the knife open. Um, I do have to kind of flick the knife around so it pulls out tip up and I have to readjust it. And then I can still get to it very, very quickly. I've not had any problems with this being um, a nuisance to use. I've not had any problems with it being inefficient or annoying. It's just, it's nice because I can carry this big knife and not have to clutter up my pockets. And the thing about this knife in particular, I don't have a nice clip on it yet. This is just the stock clip that came with it. It's been bead blasted. But that's just your standard paramilitary two clip. 
Um, if I got a deep carry, it might ride a little better in the pocket, but this clip is not very strong and adding these copper scales to this knife, this knife has fallen out of my pocket several times just carrying it in the back pocket. And this, it is extremely secure and it's not going anywhere. This knife is not going anywhere. And the flashlight likewise is not going anywhere. I've had an Olight clipped to the edge of my pocket with this, I've had this fly out of my pocket and I've never had an issue with anything moving in this holster. The other thing I wasn't certain of is how uncomfortable this would be riding on my hip. And to be completely honest, it's not bad at all. After maybe a day of wearing this on my hip, you don't know it's there. And the reason behind that is because this is a very supple leather. So it comes in three color options. This is the rugged brown. There is also a clay brown and a black but this is a very supple, soft leather. You do not notice it, it just kind of contours to your body. So it wraps around your hip and this little extended flap here keeps the gear from poking you in the side. So I have the PM2, which most of you know by now has uh, no deep carry clip on it. Even if I had a deep carry clip, this thing extends beyond that, but this is tall enough to where it wraps over the top of the knife and it really just keeps it from jabbing you or poking you. I've forgotten it's there a couple of times until you sit down and feel it kind of nudge you, you know, from the arm of a chair or something. But yes, this is made of that nice, soft, supple leather, but he also has started using a shell leather for the outside. So he's still using this nice, soft leather on the inside and then a shell leather on the outside because one of the problems I've had, and you've probably seen it in this video already, is that if I want to go clip on the outside, it just kind of grabs and pulls if this were a hard shell leather and this were a soft leather, you'd have the best of both worlds. So he started doing that. So that is now an option, but this is the XL version of the Tale of Knives. He also makes this in a standard version, which is meant for more of your Benchmade 940 or your Zero Tolerance 0450 or uh, Chris Reeves Sabenza. All of those will fit in the standard. This one is more for your PM2s or this knife, I tried the Tangram Rumble fits in it. Both the SA Avispa and the Ontario Rat 1 fit in there very well. The Gerber Flat Iron fits in there as well. However, once you get to the size of something like a Leatherman Wave, this does not fit in this belt loop. I'd have to really stretch. And then once it's in there, you notice the problem. It's a little too tall, right? So you really wouldn't be able to get it out of there. So there is one made specifically for Leatherman Wave or beefier, bigger items like the Leatherman. However, if you have a Leatherman signal on hand, clip, fits perfect. Look at that. It fits perfect with a Leatherman signal, but he has one made specifically for the Leatherman Wave, the Leatherman Wingman, and other large, thick knives like this that aren't as long because this, obviously is not nearly as long as the PM2. So that is the Leatherman version. And then there's also a mini, which is designed to work with the Benchmade proper or a Swiss army knife. So there is one made for this. There's one made for your medium sized knives like your Benchmade 940. This one is the XL for knives around this size. And then you have one that's made for Leatherman Wave and multi-tools. And you're going to have to ask him for exact fit questions. So if you've got, let's say, a Gerber MP600 instead of a Leatherman Wave, will it fit? I can't answer that question. You're going to have to ask Jeremy himself, which he's pretty responsive on Instagram, but he also has an Etsy store and you can just send a message to the seller there to get your answer. One thing to note is the flashlights usually ride very low with the clip. So he has left the bottom of the flashlight pocket open so that you can push it out from the bottom, which is a huge, huge help. That also means that if you don't have the S2R and you have an S1R, you can still use that and you can still get the flashlight out very, very easily. Um, but just to show you what flashlights work in this, the S1R, S2R, I have the S1 Mini right here, which is slightly smaller and it fits just fine. There's a little extra room in there, but Really, that's not hurting anything. It still goes in, comes out very, very easily. Uh, here is the Phoenix E18R, brand new flashlight from Phoenix. You have to kind of assist this one in with the pocket clip because that clip's really tough. It's a really strong clip, but it still fits just fine. Anything around this size 
is gonna work just fine in this organizer. And we also have the M1T Raider right here and it will fit just fine as well. But you just have to know that it's a tail cap. So at some point you're gonna have to switch over to pushing the clip instead of the tail of the flashlight. It fits without a problem. We also have some larger flashlights and this is where things start to break down. So the M1X Striker from Olight will actually fit. But the problem you have is just that it's a little too big. It rides too high. Uh, the clip is not deep carry or anything. You can't really adjust the clip. So it rides too high and would probably poke you in the side with that really aggressive bezel. And this is the Thrunite TC15. This one rides lower, but it's such a tight fit that you would probably end up stretching this whole thing out. That's about as far as I can go without really pushing it. Flashlights around this size are probably a no-go, but anything in the realm of these smaller Olights and Phoenix flashlights, your medium-sized and small flashlights. An i3T EOS, I had someone ask me if the i3T fits. Of course it fits, it's just very, very loose in there. You could maybe squeeze like a pin in there as well if you wanted. If you wanted to double up and carry two things in that one pouch, I mean, I guess you could. There's nothing stopping you. He has so many different versions of it. So he has different versions for different sized knives. He also has one that will hold a pin right here. That's called the tuxedo. There is a leather pouch sewed onto the outside of this that will allow you to hold a pin around this size or around the size of some Quakos or your Fisher Space Pin bullets. There is also an organizer. I believe it's in the mini that is a pocket organizer. So it doesn't have these belt loop holsters and on the side, it's got your more standard elastic holder for a pin, like on the proper slip. So there are many different configurations. You're just gonna have to check out the website to see all of the different stuff he does offer. One last thing I wanna show you is how this actually goes on your belt. So you've got this facing the outside on your hip, on your right hip, your belt as you're putting it on, you come through the back belt loop, belt loop on the very back of your pants. You go in from the outside of it. This would go through the belt loop on your right side before you come back out. So what that does is, is it secures this to your side, but it also secures this to your pants. So when you undo your belt, this doesn't just fall to the ground. Uh, so it keeps this thing, even when this is loose, it'll still keep this whole thing secured to your belt. Last thing to note, price. So this is the XL version of this Tale of Knives belt loop holder. This is $85 and you can actually get it customized with di different color stitching if you'd like. Anything other than brown or black stitching is considered custom. This one is $85. If you wanted the mini for something like a Benchmade proper, if you wanted something smaller like this, that one starts at $70. And if you're stepping up to a Benchmade 940 or the standard size, that one is also $70. And then finally for the Leatherman size is $80. And there are different versions of each of those. For example, I have it written down here. This one comes, the mini comes in a pocket organizer. I don't know the price on that one. The standard comes in a tuxedo, the one with the, the two-tone with the pouch on the outside for the pin. The tuxedo is 120. The Elite, which is made with Italian leather, is 150, and it's and the Elite is also the one with a pin on the outside. It also comes in a trio for $52. That one is not a belt loop organizer, so it's missing these, and it also has the elastic on the side for the pin. And then there's a trio plus clip. That one is $70, and that is minus the belt loop organizer. It has the elastic loop on the side, and then it has a clip on the back, so you can clip it to your pants or you can clip it to your belt if you wanted. The XL comes either as a single, so you can get just a belt loop without the flashlight pouch. The single is 65, or this one also comes in a tuxedo with that pin pocket on the front for 115. And then finally is the Leatherman Wave. That one is $80, but it does not come in any other versions. So I hope that helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you like this product because I certainly do. It's worth looking into i have not gone a single day without this thing on my hip since it arrived i was really on the fence about it when it first came i wasn't sure if i'd like it this thing has literally become a true everyday carry item despite anything else that has arrived this has been on my hip i can't think of a reason right now why i wouldn't be carrying this every day i really truly enjoy it so there you go that is the tale of knives belt loop pouch that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful and you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button below. And if you know of anybody who would be interested in a Tale of Knives belt loop holster themselves, 
be sure to share this video with them so they know about it. That would do a big favor for me, but also show a friend out there that this really cool stuff exists. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one, as well as many other EDC products. I'm talking about new stuff that's coming out all the time. I have the EDC Weekly, where I show off your everyday carries and tons of other stuff. And if you have subscribed, but you haven't hit the notification bell, do that so you're notified when I upload. Be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at BestMEDC. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at CasperTech. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking links down below. If it takes you to an Amazon page or some of my sponsors and you use that link or a coupon code, that will help support the channel. If you want to do it in other ways, you can go to patreon.com forward slash best damn EDC. So with all that said, until next time, carry on.